these 15 and a couple of bonus new features in iOS 18. Now these are all the new things I think are worth checking out. And the first one is by heading to the calculator. And we can see this new button here in the bottom left hand corner, this actual calculator. If we press that, we can change here to the scientific calculator. We can go to notes, go back to the basic. What a lot of people may like is to convert, where we can convert currency. We can change the top one here. We'll keep it US dollars. So 250 US dollars is 223.90 euros. Or you can go into any other currency. So that's the first new cool feature added to iOS 18. Now, the next one, I may just give that away. If we press here and we go to Maths Notes, this takes you to the notes. All you need to do is make up a new note. Let's bring up a pen here. Let's have it in red just to think so we can see it better. So, four plus five equals. There you go, it solves it for us. We can just keep doing that. So, 1000 times 4 equals. There you go. It's really good. I do like that new feature with the notes app. Now, what next do we have on the list? Messages. So, if we want to reply to a message, once you've typed your message, press the plus here. And then we can select send later and we can choose the time and the date here and this message will be sent later directly from the messenger app you can just press that x there if you don't want to send later back to the messages in a moment now another feature i like is that we can completely customize the control center so if we swipe down from the top right hand corner we can press this plus in the top left hand corner add control center and we can add anything here into the control center to really customize it let's just add the volume for instance we can move this whenever we want i know we've already got a volume but just showing you you can delete it with that minus in the top left hand corner you can move things around you can really customize it to how you wish so I really like how you customize the control center. You can also turn off your iPhone from the control center by pressing the power button here in the top right hand corner, holding that down and the power will turn off. Now next, you can also customize the home screen. So all you need to do, press and hold in any of the blank space. If you will start to shake, press edit in the top left hand corner customize and now we can make the images larger now a lot of people will like that you can make it dark mode light mode automatic now this will change from dark to light or light to dark and we can also have this tinted here where we can really change the different colors of the apps now you're never able to do that change the color of the apps now you can in iOS 18 feature many people will like so let's go back to the original so that's another feature moving on back over to the messages we have more emojis to react so we've been press and hold as you can see we have many more emojis that we can react to where we didn't have many in the previous updates that's just a quick one now I do like this one if you want to lock any app using face ID all you need to do is press and hold on the app so let's lock the podcast here and you can see here require face ID press that and it'll say here this app will require face ID or your passcode to open up or show content in other apps App content will not appear in notification previews or spotlight. 
and you can press require face id and now if we try and open podcasts we require face id like that i do really like that feature now now to turn it off press and hold don't require face id and it will use your face id to turn it off now let's keep rattling through back over to the messages now this time if we want to reply to this message yes I'll be there now that may be very boring but if we press this little A here in the top right hand corner of the trackpad press that and we have more dramatic messages using different formatting styles so you can have this shake here so all the text will shake or you can just have a word so that first part will shake this will ripple the next bit you can keep going you can bloom it and you could send that and it'll make the message a bit more dramatic now the next one if you're someone who always writes the passwords in notes that's no longer needed with the new passwords app you will need to unlock it with your face id and all your passwords are saved within this one application i do really like that next let's keep rattling through over to the settings and let's come down to our battery let's go to battery health and charging now some people in the charging section here will have the ability to set the iPhone charge limit I currently don't because this is a bit of an older iPhone however if you have that you can set your charging limit that will be a cool feature if you have it now next Apple Maps if you're into Apple Maps or you've never given it a try some new features will well be worth checking out as you can see apple maps have introduced custom routes see build any kind of walk from nature heights to city stroll create custom routes whenever you request walking direction press continue and as you can see here there's elevation there's new things on the apple maps well worth checking out if you've never used Apple Maps or you've never given it a chance. The next one is eye track. You can now look around and control your options on your screen using your eyes alone. You have to set this manually in settings, but it's well worth checking out. As you can see here, transcripts automatically transcribe speech into text. So now on voice memos, when you create a voice memo it will automatically transcribe the speech into text which is a brilliant new feature on iOS 18 over to the photos now this is been getting a lot of flack because for instance the videos here no longer have a preview picture when you scrub and it can be seen as quite messy as you can see but right at the bottom here you can customize and reorder you can take things out if you wish or reorder them by pressing and holding here like that it's completely customizable the photos app now it's not got the best reputation at the moment but i think it will grow on people now there are all the iphone features i think it's well worth checking out if you think i've missed something what is much better let us know in the comments below and I'm sure everyone would like to see them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.